What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. I told you these next couple days on the truck build were gonna be jam-packed, and I wasn't joking. Check this thing out. That's literally dangling over my truck right now. Oh! <laughs> oh, we're crazy. Well, what do you guys think? Not bad for three hours, huh? Let's check this thing out. So, first thing first, we had to get this bed off of here. Most of it was already disconnected. Um, we had to get the fuel um, inlet right here disconnected. And I think that was pretty much it. Um, then just had to pull that guy off of there. That was really heavy. Uh, the crane has a scale on it. He said it was about 5,500 pounds, he thought. Somewhere in that range, uh, between there and 5,000. So, pretty heavy deal. Um, but we got that off. Had a guy lined up that wanted to buy it. He wanted uh, some pieces off of it. He has a bus himself. So it made that a super easy transaction. And after that, next thing we did, was take this cab off. Uh, there was still quite a few things that we had to disconnect once he started picking up on it. So it took us a little bit of time to uh, get all that disconnected, but it all worked out and uh, happy he was able to lift that off. Saved us a lot of work. And that got us to this point here, which to some of you is pretty scary, but this thing will be back on the road. And then what we did was pull the dump bed off of this truck here. And set that over here on these pallets. Now, I already talked about this bed a little bit, but I'll talk a little bit more about it. It's a Cry Steel uh, manufacturing. It's a tipper. It's a 10 foot. I think it's 8 foot wide. It's got fold down sides. Got your lever right here. 
Same thing on the other side. Uh, very heavy duty bed here. Uh, we're gonna repaint it black. And it's got the electric over hydraulic pump down here. So super easy hookup. You got a ground and you got a uh, hot. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So all we gotta do guys is get this one painted up and this will be a very nice bed. It's pretty much identical to this one right here on our 05 except the one on the 05 is an eight foot and it does not have fold down sides but same manufacturer looks like they're probably different years uh, this is one on the 05 actually looks a little more beefy than this other one but either way they're both both very nice beds and this one right now does not look the hottest this back uh, plate here is pretty much pretty much uh, brown but we'll get that all sanded up sandblasted and uh, if necessary and get her get her painted up and it'll be looking good it's gonna be a nice truck when we're done guys and then if you're new and you have not been following along with this build this is going on there as well tunnel box so it'll look pretty much identical to this truck over here where it's gonna be a regular cab with the tunnel box and the dump bed on the back. So pretty much be just like that, but it's a 45 instead of a 3500. So a little bit beefier chassis, um, bigger tires, bigger wheels, all that good stuff. Sits up a little higher, easier access to get to the engine and all that good jazz. So it's a pretty sweet truck. We're gonna have to chop the frame a little bit. It's a little too long now. I think we're gonna have to end up cutting about 18 inches off of it, maybe two feet, uh, and that'll be coming straight off of straight off of right here. We'll just be bringing it back this way a little bit to wherever the dump bed ends, and uh, obviously the bumper will go bye bye. We don't need that anymore, and then we'll have to modify this exhaust a little bit. But it looks like they've already done some cutting on it, a couple different spots actually. It looks like they've done a lot of cutting on it. So and it's actually cracked right there. Sweet. So anyway. We'll hack that guy off probably right here to where we can get to some clean pipe. Jeez, there's more welds back there. This exhaust is a hack job. Holy crap. Up here, down there. Yeah, this, wow. Yeah, I may just cut it off way back here and just dump it down. Anyway, that will have to get modified. Um, yeah, that's... Not much more to it, I don't think. I'm kind of thinking as we're talking. It's all new to me. I have not uh, taken a good look at this since we've got it all apart. So I'm going to inspect and uh, see if there's anything I can't fix while i got easy access and get this thing put back together and try to get it on the road. All right, guys. So there's pretty much uh, what we've done today and kind of my random thoughts moving forward on this build. The next time you see anything on this truck, it'll be moving down the road. Thanks for watching guys, as always, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. You don't wanna miss this. I'll see you in the next one.